Okay, well, I want to thank you all for coming. We don't have an official name yet, but apparently the disciples understudying my pastor doesn't work really well as an acronym, so, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to start off by saying that I started this group because I can see that our church is starting to lose its unity, and I want to try to help and get that back on track. So I gathered all of you here together because you guys help lead the church in some way, and you all have different personalities, which is something I also want to unify. So for the sake of being on the same page, let's go around the room and reintroduce ourselves. Um, there are some of us that might not know each other, so this would be a good way to get to know each other. I'll start off. I'm Pastor Brian. I'm married to my wife, Janet, and together we make PB&J. Um, I've been here as a pastor for five long years, and I enjoy uh, the sport of football, more spectating than playing. All right, well, I think that's about it. Uh, we'll move on. Nanali? Oh, right. Hi, I'm Nanali. I'm 22 years old. Um, uh, I'm a water sign, which says a lot about my personality already. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, I'm head of the decorating committee here, which is why I always look really cute in the sanctuary. <laughs> um, I'm single, currently living with uh, my kitty, Mr. Snuggles, and um, I'm waiting for the right guy to be sent to me by Daddy God. <laughs> and in my spare time, I make doggy sweaters. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, next, Randy. I'm Randy. I'm a deacon. I've been here for 30 years, uh, work on a farm and uh, farm corn, corn. Oh, oh, yes, that's good. Um, Hannah, you're up. I'm Hannah, me, Hannah. I'm not in any of these committees because I think they're stupid and sinful. And I don't like much of anything, including most of you here. True. Awesome. Um, way to be honest. All right, let's move on. Uh, Jacob, is it? Yeah. Would you like to share something about yourself? Sure. Uh, uh, don't you run sound for the church? Yep. Do you do other things? Yep. Like what? Stuff. Uh, sure. Any video games? Uh -huh. He doesn't really talk much, does he? Okay, I think that's all we need to know. Tina, you're up. This is interesting. His intent focus on worshiping something? Inspiration? Oh, that's good. That's good. Alrighty then. Um, let's also not forget that she plays the piano every Sunday morning. And finally, we have April. April, would you like to share? <laughs> well, my name is April, and <laughs> I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> and sometimes these feelings just come out of nowhere. <laughs> Well, I can tell you that you've been working on enunciating. <laughs> That's good. So now that we have our intros out of the way, let's focus on what we need to do as a body of believers to grow in unity. Does anyone have any ideas or thoughts to help tackle this subject? Anyone? Well, we could have like one of those like revivals or something. Like that actually helps any. Maybe if we added inspirational melodies, it will unlock the souls from the bonds of apathy and ritual. 
Okay. Um, anything else? Shaley Kokoff. Video game tourney. Well, those are some great ideas, but I don't think they really help us address the problem. Sure, these things can bring us physically together, but would they mentally and spiritually? Well, at least with my idea, we'd be like able to like fellowship with food. I, are, I thought I already told you that that wasn't going to work. Fine, but what if we had some kind of like block party to go with it? No one even wants to go to that, dude. Yep. How inspiring could that even be? I mean, spiritual dud. Guys, this isn't helping. We need to work on We need to get rid of this. We're getting nowhere. stop all this disunity and but we only ended up encouraging more of it I mean yeah we do have a lot of different um, personalities and interests and views but I mean, we do have one thing in common God that's right Jacob we all come to church to worship Jesus right it says in Ephesians uh, chapter 2 verse 19 and 20 now therefore you are no longer strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. We are a family. I'm sure families have their disagreements, but there is a deeper unity of love. Our love comes from Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross. He sacrificed his own life out of love. And why won't we do the same for others? We fall apart when we lose focus on the real goal, worshiping God. Just like Peter taking his eyes off of Jesus, we start to sink, to fall away from our Creator. Exactly. Over in Romans 15, 5, it says, Now may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded toward one another according to Christ Jesus. Everything else just doesn't seem as important in comparison. In one attitude of mind towards each other, that's something we really lack. I guess that's true. It just all sounds too simple, like it should have been common sense or something. Indeed, but it is very easy to lose focus of what's important if we forget how important it really is. After all, we are brothers and sisters, so let's work towards the goal of being a unified church as a family. <laughs>
think about what he's saying. <laughs> right, we can't think. <laughs> Will you just look at it? That's what I was thinking. Just look at it. Look at just, it. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay. Don't worry, we make the same like this. Okay.